top care band-aids can they keep coming undone. I burnt all my fingers earlier with my soup. Greta is taking her time to simulate a cow. Good job. Good job. We are hooking the trailer up to the Can-Am for the first time in a long time to haul all our stuff down here because we're camping tonight and tomorrow night. Even though it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. We've had a really good blip of weather, but Tonight it's gonna be cold, but <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway. Um, they said 30 degrees, but this valley area is like 10 degrees colder, so it should be interesting. Uh, we'll be fine. Beautiful blue sky. Look at that. The only thing up there is a little hawk that I don't think anyone will be able to see on YouTube. So he was gonna back the trailer up to his car and then load the big storage tents we got but he decided instead he's going to use his car to back it up and he will use the rear view camera on his van to help assist him my fingers have band-aids because i burnt myself getting some soup out of the um microwave today top care band-aid sucks That's good. Sure. Yep, looks good. Will it be able to? And that was the first one out. I put Rocky down. I've had that rock since California and I smuggled it without my parents knowing. Smuggled that rock from California, smuggled. Um, my parents didn't want me to take it back with me because it's a like 10 pound 15 pound rock who wants their kid to bring home just a big round rock um but we were at a family reunion and i found that in a creek on my grandpa's property and i was convinced and I'm telling you so were all the other kids it was gonna hatch i'm telling you we all took turns sitting on it debating what was gonna hatch out of it and uh, they decided that I would be the one to take responsibility for it and take it home and make sure it hatched and tell them what it was. So I still have it. I brought it home. I drew a face on it. I call it Rocky. It's Rocky. When we got to the airport, um, they couldn't figure out why the suitcases were all so overweight. And so they had a security guy going through it and he just had this really weird look on his face and he pulled out this rock and everybody just like, <gasps> and they looked to turn and looked at me. and. I think everyone in the airport was like laughing because everyone was gathered around to figure out what was going on and they pulled this rock out and it was so funny and I managed to convince them to take it. We divvied up everything so I could take it home and it's rocky and it's made our move. I just put it down. This is where he's going to be for a while. He's got a really nice view. That's the waterfall right there. I think I'm going to cut that honeysuckle down and you got a nice clear view from here. I think it's nice. Good view. Put him down where I don't think the water will come up and uh, bother him at all. There's one corner. Uh, there's a corner back there, a uh, corner back there, and a corner here. Well, where am I finding? Here. That's a corner. Um, for the storage tent dimensions, we put down marking and measuring with the pieces of wood. We're gonna put that together. Man, those things kept getting snagged on everything in the van. Dad is going to pull out some honeysuckle that's obscuring the back of where we're gonna put the tent and testing his gripper thing he got. Ooh, that's a pleasant noise. The vines are trying to, oh, they let go. What is that called? The brush scrubber. The brush scrubber. Nice, I like it. It grabs the brush. It's up to the oh, that's, that's the locust, right? Yeah. It's like poking right in the head. Yeah. It's just waiting there being all evil. You definitely have to get that out because it could rip the side of the tent. Storage tent garage thing. I'm going to get some of these thorns and stuff that's in the way and maybe any anything pokey that I think can pop the bottom because in this one, this one's got a couple holes in the in the bottom even though we tried very hard. 
He's going to the log. Locust tree is clinging with its roots. He wins. Gosh. He finally did it. Man. Did somebody order a campsite? Woo woo. All right, we kind of messed up. It's not quite done apparently. We forgot to attach some of the top brackets over here. So we're gonna try to reach in and fix it. And Nova immediately tried to jump in even though the door was not opened yet. And they both seem surprisingly accepting that we're gonna go camping again. Dad's worried we won't have enough food for dinner tonight. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. We didn't actually have time to go to the store today because we were meeting with a guy um, here about putting in septic and he gave us a better idea of where we should have our house for the walkout <laughs> and where Shep said to go and what angle it should be facing. And we also met with Fryzy Construction today and our draftsman and went over the house plans and everything. Nova, Nova, Nova. Hey, Nova! Nova thought she was a mountain lion. Ah, oh, she's crazy. All right, I'm gonna help. We got the moldy tarp on. Oh, look, we, we got the, the dead slug right on the entrance. Oh, <laughs> nice. Mangle anyway. is like very concerned. I can get to do something to get this less gross. I can do something to get less gross. We got the fire started. Now I need to do something about this, and I think we should stake it down and to get the beds going soon. So. We're using his solar panel that we have protected in that plastic bin and an extension cord running here to blow up the bags. I think that's the small one. I actually have no idea. And then that one. And Maple is unsure where to go. We're actually using the solar power generator part. The solar panel is that part. That charges it and that's the generator. It's done. This is Dad's bed, I think, blown up too describe smell for you guys but a lot of these things a lot of these things have this god awful funky cheese smell and i'm like mm, definitely don't want this one for myself funky cheese i hope we're gonna be all right i'm having like an asthma attack tonight i'm gonna be sleeping in one of those storage tents or something i think all the like <coughs> I can't wash my hands. All of the water. <laughs> Perky happy. All of the water that has been in any anything, all the dew that we get that was on any of the tarps and sleeping bags and blankets that were stored here has been festering in all of their containers. And so it's going to be really nice smelling and really good for your asthma. Good enough. There's something that happens as soon as you get a nice warm fire up where you just want to lay down, sit next to it, relax, despite the fact that you took the moldy tarp off the tent because you couldn't breathe, and now you got to put two more on and try to hope that they connect and stay together. And the sun's starting to go down, and it's beautiful. We tied him up and we put it so the long side goes this way. And I think the camel looks really cool on it. It looks very nice. We did it. It's gonna be a little breezy at the places where it does the seam. I think it's good. This was some rice we were making. I put some goat butter in it to melt.
figure now's a good time to mention we've been having so much trouble trying to find an apartment because of our dogs and the fact that we want a temporary place until our house is built. Dad and I began looking at trailers or RVs or mobile homes. Dad even looks at yurts, cabins, teepees, considers living outdoors, whatever. I learned that we want something called a travel trailer. I start getting ads for them constantly online. We mull over how we would get the septic, the water, Wi-Fi, solar and generators and everything Thing to just live out there. It sounds complicated, but we could live there. We could start chicken soon, garden this year. We wouldn't have to drive an hour there and back each visit. Maple is laying in the very middle of my bed with my pillow, and I can't have it, apparently. Aww. She got a little growly. <laughs>